They killed my friend. So I'm going to kill each and every one of them. Denzel gives him his heart. He's consistently delivering a great performance for the audience. They know if you go see a Denzel Washington movie, he's not going to let you down. What else is there for me to say? He said it all. When you see a Denzel movie, you're going to get your money's worth. And we're going to discuss it in this movie, the spoiler freestyle, as we do on Life Games and Stream It or Beam It. If you're just now finding me for the first time, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you're down every time we drop a Life Games video. What are Life Games? Helping you make improvements in every area of your life to get Life Games. If you really, really enjoy my content, support me on Patreon. And if you want to join me on Stardust, the app that you can download for free, you can do 30-second movie reviews and hear my 30-second movie reviews, and we can squad up later. Let's jump into the review. What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful, just damn all everything, the sexiest hell host. And we're here bringing you that life game today and stream it or beam it, should you go see it in the theater or should you wait for the stream? And we're talking to Equalizer 2 with my boy Denzel Washington. I wanted to go ahead and get the discussion going. Did you see the first Equalizer? How did you feel about that? Let me know, because we're gonna kind of compare the two in this spoiler free review. But first, I gotta put on my plus seven glasses of cinema sexy as hell, working on skilling up my craft, giving you guys a better informed YouTube experience. Always go check out shoplifegames.com. That's my shop, my selling shop. I got blogs over there, we do it all. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So this is a follow up, Equalizer 2 is a follow up from the movie that came out in 2014 where Denzel just smashed it up. And a lot of people don't know this movie is also, well the first Equalizer was a rendition of an 80s TV series. Well in this one Robert McCall turns around and he comes back. He's a Lyft driver by day and the damn 18 vigilantes by night. I mean he's kicking butts, taking names, putting that smack down on folks. Now, if you're a fan of the first one, they kind of give an homage to the first one and one of the first scenes involving a clock, you will love that scene. It'll get your juices going, it'll get you very excited about this movie. The twist in this movie is that Denzel is doing all that stuff with his lift in the daytime, beating up folks at night, but his life gets turned around when someone he really loves that's close to him is killed. And when you want to talk about action, this movie has a lot of action. I'm talking like 80s style action where it's long and drawn out and very graphic. This is not a movie you want to bring your children or your grandparents to unless they enter some freaky stuff because there are some over the top graphics, I mean um, violence in this movie. There's even some instances where women are getting beat in this movie. This is a no holds barred action thriller. This movie in particular when you compare it to the old Equalizer, the old Equalizer had more action. I would say this movie has action, but it has more of a deeper story narrative than the very first Equalizer did. And so you'll be into this movie, not as much action as the first one, but still enough to keep you into the movie. And you can't say enough good things about Denzel Washington. I mean, the guy is timeless. He is the draw for this movie, unlike that shit we seen last week called Skyscrapers. Denzel Washington can play a gentleman, he can turn into a vigilante, he can be the pastor in church in this movie. You get to see every facet of what Denzel Washington can do. 
even at the age of 65 in this movie. Let's talk about the villains. In order to have one of these kind of good movies, you have to have decent villains. This movie has a couple of villains and they're all gonna piss you the hell off. I mean, by the end of this movie, you're gonna want Denzel Washington to whip all the asses. And of course, you know, he may or he may not deliver. I can't tell you because this is a spoiler free version of the movie. We will squad up after most of you all have seen it and kind of recap what you like, what you didn't. But that brings me to my point of the ending of the movie, I didn't like as much as I liked the first Equalizer. I kind of felt like more things should have happened at the end. And that'll lead me into talking about what I didn't like about the movie, which is only about two things. I didn't really like the pacing of this movie. It can be drawn out, it can be slow. And it kind of seems like Denzel has a double life and they're trying to do two stories about his narratives and that kind of draws the movie out longer than what it should be. So those would be my only two drawbacks. Now should you stream this or go catch the theater beam? I'm gonna say that's just gonna depend on you. I'll give the movie seven out of 10. I'll definitely say that. Seven out of 10 is usually you need to go theater beaming. But for those of you that don't like that gory, rated R, 80s style violence, you might not like this movie in a theater. You might wanna wait. But for everybody else, I would say go see it. And one thing that they have done, they've Hollywood's kind of gotten away from kind of that old school rated R action thriller movie with all the gore and has gone to CGI more so than what they've done in the past. They've just kind of been CGI so like it's taken over the world. So if you want to fight against that, I would definitely say go support this movie. You won't be disappointed because Denzel, he shows up to anything that he does and this movie is no different. Leave me some comments below. Are you gonna go see this movie this weekend? Is Denzel on your top five male actors? Let me know so we can squad up and do another video to follow up this one. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Go get yourself an equalizer. Stay on this channel. Support this channel. Join my Patreon. Share my message. We're trying to do all we can to make sure you guys are making those life gains in every area of your life. And saving money on bad movies is definitely a life game. And until that next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.